Hey guys, welcome back to another Maya video tutorial. And today I want to show you guys how to create a looking glass. Um, so let's get started. Uh, if you don't know all the basic functions in Maya, like how to move objects and stuff like that, there are tons of videos out there on YouTube that you can look at. If you've got any questions about this video, just uh, let me know. And uh, bear with me, I'm doing this on the fly, so if I have to backtrace at some point, then, uh, you know, sorry about that. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, make sure you're in the Polygons menu, and go to the Polygons tab, and I'm going to create a pipe. So I'm going to drag that out in the grid, something like that. Pull it up a little bit, and I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode, so I can see what I'm doing. As you can see, it's not perfectly round, so I'm going to add some edges to that. So I'm going to hit Control A, right click on that, go to Polypipe, and I'm going to increase the number of subdivisions so it's nice and round. Now you can make this as fancy as you want. Sorry about that. You can make that as fancy as you want. But um, for now, I'm just going to keep it pretty basic. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to shift, drag, select the whole object. And then I'm going to go um, shift, right click, and smooth. This will give a uh, nice round shape. OK. Next, we're going to create the handle. So I'm going to go to um, the polygon cylinder. I'm going to create a cylinder, pull that up, and hit E to rotate it, and Control A, so I can make that exactly 90 degrees, minus 90, okay. I want to shape the handle a little bit, uh, but first I'm going to scale the whole thing down somewhat, so I'm going to hit R, scale it like so, and pull it out like so, okay, and I'm going to make the back part a little bit thicker. So I'm going to hit F to zoom in, right click on the object, go to face mode, and about halfway, something like that, okay. I'm going to scale that out, so hit R, scale that out a little bit, zoom out, and hit W to move that out a bit. So that looks a little bit more like a handle. Now it's probably still too long, uh, but we'll look at that in a second. First I'm going to position it. So right click on the object, go to object mode, select it, so you see the green lines. And I'm going to pull that down and I'm going to start to position that. Go to your four view, hit the space bar, okay. Now, I'm going to push it up first, so I'm roughly in the middle, pull it out like so, and it can use a little bit more body because the ring is fairly large, so I'm going to hit R, and actually I'm going to scale it out a little bit, so it's more in proportion, something like that. Hit W again, and move it out like so. Okay, now proportion is good, but it's pretty long, so I'm going to cut off a little bit of the handle. So I'm going to right click, go to face mode, and let's say we're going to drag select this piece and hit delete. That's a little bit better. All right, so now I'm going to see if it's positioned in the other uh, views as well, and it looks like it. It's still a little bit too thick. What I can do though is select the ring, hit R, and actually I'm going to fix it that way because it was too round anyway. So I'm going to shift select both objects, one, and shift select two, and I'm going to go to mesh and combine mesh. So now if I hit W and move it up, it's one object. And it's starting to look a little bit like a looking glass. All right. Now we need to create the glass piece. So I'm going to create a sphere. And something like so. 
and I'll uh, make sure that's in the right uh, size in a, in a bit and um, the whole thing is selected so I'm gonna hit the R button and I'm gonna squish it something like that and I'm gonna start to position it so I'm gonna go to my four view and I'm gonna move that thing in position I'm gonna move it up I'm gonna move it in and I'm gonna go to my top view here and I'm gonna hit R to scale it out so I can position it a little bit better W to move it out and to move it down so if I go to my perspective view and I take a look at it, it should be solid and okay, and it looks like it is. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shift select the whole thing and we're gonna rotate it. Ah, oh, I forgot to combine the mesh, sorry. Control Z, Control Z, select and select mesh combine now I can rotate the whole thing okay so I'm gonna move it up a bit and what I'm gonna do right now is move it up a little bit more okay I'm gonna select the ground plane and like so move the whole object a little bit more to the middle like so something like that and now I'm gonna assign some materials to it first I'm gonna create a light create light uh, point light drag that up control D to duplicate it drag it out Control D to duplicate it, drag it out, Control D and that's right guys, drag that out. Okay. Now I'm going to select the ground plane, right click, assign new material. I'm gonna make that a Fong E and I'm gonna go to plane sorry, polyplane. Uh, sorry, Fong E, and then I'm going to select the color white. Then I'm going to go to the object. I'm going to go to mesh and separate because I want to assign different materials. So I got the glass selected now. Right click, assign new material, search for MIA, select MIA material X. Select it over here, go to your presets, and go to Glass, Solid, and Replace. I'm going to select the, the, the ring and the handle, and I'm going to right-click, Assign New Material, hit Mia Material X, Presets, go to Chrome, and Replace. And I actually want some a different material on parts of the handle. So I'm going to select the number of faces there. So right click, go to face, select that piece of the handle, right click, assign new material. MIA material, presets, go to rubber and replace, zoom out a little bit, and let's give it a render. Okay, go to your render settings, make sure you select mental ray, 
go to mental ray indirect lighting um, make sure you got global illumination and final gathering on then uh, go to quality select production go to common scroll down and make it a nice high quality so we're going to select HD 1080 and close zoom in a little bit like so and we're going to hit render and see what happens Sorry about those pop-ups, guys. Now, as you can see, it's uh, a quick tutorial, uh, very quick and dirty, but you can play with the settings. But uh, this is a basic uh, looking glass, so I uh, hope you like it. Thank you.